Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mayank and in this video I will show you how you can integrate Mautic and HubSpot. As you can see I have some uh, sample contacts in HubSpot and uh, in Mautic I am already in the plugins. So how we integrate is you just need to enable the plugin from HubSpot. So when you click on this uh, you just need to put it to publish yes and then you need the HubSpot API key. So how you will obtain API key you need to go to HubSpot click on the settings in the integration click on API key and here you will see the API key okay so what you need to do is you need to copy this API key once you copy it go back here paste it save and close and then you need to refresh this page so now you see the HubSpot is now active so it is colorful click on this you will see that there is now another uh, tab and you can do the field mapping there so in the features uh, you can choose which features you want to enable so this lets you uh, send contacts to integration that means send contact to HubSpot so this lets you pull contact or company from HubSpot so which object we want to put on so both I want both next you need to go to contact mapping and choose the fields which you want so there are these are like directional arrows you can choose which direction the data will be moving so what we want is we want uh, let's say all the data from Mautic to integration so we are going to do it like that and I'm going to go back and in the pull section I will basically uncheck it because I don't want HubSpot uh, contact to come to Mautic but I want my new leads which will be generated in Mautic to go to HubSpot okay so back to contact mapping um, so direction I have set is towards integration and uh, you need to just uh, do whatever mapping you are uh, want so let's see basically I'm just going to do email um, city company and by the way I need to mark this this direction right so next let's see country yes name last name okay so these are all the fields that I'm going to map and uh, now I'm going to save it and we are done so again I will just refresh this page just to check if everything was done so I'm opening again so features as you can see and now uh, along with contact mapping we have company mapping as well so if you want you can do the company mapping but in this case I am just going to map the uh, name of the company right so here is company name I want this direction so company name oh, sorry this is company name okay again save and close now we are done your integration is now done so let's go and check it out so what I'm going to do is I am going to create a campaign I will create a new campaign and name it HubSpot integration launch campaign builder I will use the form okay so I'm using this form add next step you need to go to the action and you need to choose integration so push contact to integration in here you can choose which uh, integration you want uh, if you have enabled Zoho and other integrations uh, you will get more options in this case we only have HubSpot so only HubSpot option is available so I'm going to write send 
contact to HubSpot, right? So add it, and uh, this is it. This is basically it. I just have to show you the integration part. So I'm just going to save this, close, and save and close. So now this integration is live, uh, as you can see. And uh, now we need to go and open the form. Okay, so I use this form. So I'm just going to go to the preview page and put my name here. Okay, and submit it again. I'm going to just go back to the here and trigger the campaign action so that is Motic campaign update and Motic campaign trigger okay uh, so now uh, the campaign action has been triggered let's go back and see if it worked so in the campaign Again, I'm going to HubSpot integration. As you can see, the action is here. And now again, I'm going to go back. And here, as you can see, the contact has appeared now. So guys, this is how you uh, work with the HubSpot integration with Motec. And uh, if you like the video, if you like my content, please do consider subscribing and do click the like button. Thank you so much.